Abigail, well, everyone knows the story of Abigail. <laughs> I don't know it. I don't know it. Uh, well, she came up as a passenger along the Mississippi Illinois River. She had tuberculosis, typhoid fever, she was ill. So whenever you had an ill passenger on the carrier lines, then they would be dropped off at the okay. next port, Sweet. taken to either the hospital, a local hotel, family. Oh yeah, we do know this. Anywhere story. along that wasn't on the passenger ship. And she came to reside here in her final days and Still running around, huh? She is. I was like, what Just a couple of nights ago, I was downstairs <laughs> closing up, and there's lights that are right above the bar. Mm -hmm. Normally, they stay on, not a problem. I've never had an issue with them. Well, the other night, they went out, they come on, blink, 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 off, and then back on and stay. Oh, if you need my name, I'm Vinny. Vinny, and you're in the bar? Is I am the bartender. Have a good night. Oh, uh, you as well. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy, Happy Halloween. Too. Welcome to Soul Searching, and today we're going to talk about our investigation of the Ruble Hotel, which is located in Grafton, Illinois. This place was weird. The evidence we got is just really odd. What did you think about it? Oh my god, it was odd. It was fun though. Oh, we I mean, did. We had a really so good time. The stuff that happened was just unbelievable. I just, yeah, <laughs> I, I totally agree. And we did it on Halloween night. A little history about the Rubel Hotel. It was built in 1879 by Michael Rubel. He married Margaret and they had eight children. Three of them weren't alive at the time that the Rubel was built. But the five others all spent time at the Rubel Hotel. His oldest son was blind. His name was Michael Jr. And he also had mental health problems. He lived with his parents his entire life and he died at the age of 27. And then they had George. He was also blind and he was a musician. And he did go to a school for the blind but he died young too. He died at the age of 30. Then they had Charles. Charles and his sister, their only daughter, Louise, were the two children who survived and took over the Rubel Hotel after their father's death in 1910. The other child, Sherman, happened to die 18 days after his father died. There are documented deaths at the Rubel. I do believe that it's possible that the five children, they could possibly be there. And I do believe that Michael Sr. is there and possibly even his wife, Margaret. Thomas Pavoda. Now what he did, he used to sharpen chicken bones and he would use it as a toothpick. Well, one day Tom swallowed a chicken bone and it got lodged in his intestines and he was in severe pain. He was living north of the Ruba Hotel and the only way to get to a hospital was to travel south to Alton. However, he didn't make it. He stopped at the Ruba Hotel and they performed surgery on him there at the hotel and he died of inflammation of his bowels. Thomas Gearing. The article just said that he dropped dead in the rear of the hotel. Another interesting fact about the Rubo Hotel, it was the place where they stored dead bodies. People who died in winter, they would keep them there at the Rubo until springtime when they could dig a hole. It did burn down in 1912. Newspaper reports did say that no one died in the fire and it did burn to the ground, but they did save the World's Fair bar. It was the only thing left of the original Rubel Hotel. Now the claims there all surround a little girl named Abigail. 
people claim to see her, talk to her, hear her running on the stairways. They hear her running outside on the fire escapes. She moves items. They say she makes items vanish. Other things that happen there are whispers and curious smells. And we stayed in the infamous room 11 where people claim that's where Abigail died and it's the most haunted room in the hotel. And we got a curious smell. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them what it was? No, I don't remember. It was like a tobacco pipe smell. Oh yeah. I have some clips about room 11 because what I did was set up a stationary camera. I think you're going to be surprised on what I captured. I, I can't wait to see it. The first, clip, <laughs> the first clip because I know you really, really, really want to see it because your cape, it was Halloween so we dressed up and her cape was hanging out and I seen it. We were watching the movie Halloween <laughs> and it turned like that by itself stopped and turned back and so then she saw it and I moved my camera over there hoping it would do it again and guess what while I was in the bathroom want to see it yes I do <laughs> and then there's other things that we captured in room 11 it'll play after that and the last two you're gonna have to explain okay. because I'm not sure if they're paranormal stage of pet parenthood you're in, this will help you live in the moment, not the mess. Nespresso Virtual. We define coffee with one touch, precision, and technology. A smooth crema for exceptional coffee every day. Nespresso Virtual. The coffee is meant to be.
what do you think about your CPAP machine? Is that normal or? Well, the humming is normal. Um, I, well, I've never noticed it that bad before, you know, and all that, I don't know. <laughs> what, would any of that cause that, like, suction kind of noise or? I'm not let, well, I'm I'm sleeping, so I you know a lot of times like but if I move sometimes it, if I like sometimes if I move and it, it'll like shift or something mm -hmm. and if I feel it I kind of like I'll do that I will pull it off so that could have been that, that. Been it. yeah that definitely could have been that um but the humming I mean it's I didn't realize how loud it got I mean I knew it hummed a little bit well the yeah. it is turned up. Okay. okay. So, but still, if you notice in the other video, it, it went, it was going when that um, cape turned, mm -hmm. you didn't hear it humming. And it's the same amount of volume. Okay. Yeah. So, I, and I honestly, <laughs> I think that she was messing with me all night long. Yeah. Because you did say, tell them, tell them about what happened in the morning. Well, <laughs> Part like in the middle of the night, I don't know if I moved or I don't know how it happened. All I know is that my cup flew off the table because I heard it and then I kind of, I, I jumped up and I was like, oh my God. And I didn't know, I don't know if I, when I moved, if my hose for my CPAP machine might have knocked it over or if it fell over. But I did get up and, you know, clean that up and whatever, picked it back up and stuff. But then, <laughs> the creepiest part, when I was, when I woke up, I had gotten, well, I wasn't up yet. I was just kind of still laying there and I glanced over and Shannon was still sleeping. She was in the bed across the room. So it was just me. I was just laying there. And so I was just kind of like laying there, waking up, you know, just relaxing. And I had the sheets covers up over me like this and I'm just laying there. And I remember I was laying like this. And then all of a sudden I felt something over here on my shoulder and I kind of glanced down and I could feel the sheets <laughs> moving down off of me. And so I was kind of like, okay. <laughs> and I'm looking around again, you know, you're still sleeping, nobody's around. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So I just kind of laid there again, you know, just kind of seeing if she would do it again or something, whatever was in the room with us and it did it again. Oh, no. And, but it was like the minute that I turned my head this way, you know, because I could, you could feel, mm -hmm. I could feel oh, yeah. it, and I could Absolutely. see it kind of out, you know, out of my eye like this. I could see it moving and feeling it, but the minute I would turn, it would stop. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my gosh, that was, that was exciting. That's pretty That was really neat. And then seeing my cape turn like it did. Like, yeah, oh, you that were, was amazing. You were definitely <laughs> um, the one that was chosen. The only thing that's strange, well, we smelt the smell, mm -hmm. but um, when I first laid down to go to sleep, I thought I heard a child talking to me, but uh -huh. that could have been like a sleep paralysis kind of thing. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When I go to sleep, I always ask the spirits to leave me alone because I need my sleep. <laughs> and I didn't, so I guess I was the chosen one. <laughs> So but that's okay because she didn't hurt me. It was, it, it's interesting. I, it, if anything, if it was paranormal, I think it was just a curiosity. Thing. Yes. Yes. You know. Definitely. And that could be why she was pulling your covers down too because it goes, the mask goes on your face and mm -hmm. isn't there like a tube that kind of goes yeah. to the machine? The, Maybe she was trying to see what all was involved with it. It could have been because it goes around my nose like this, but then I have a strap that goes around my head mm -hmm. and then the hose comes off that tube and comes down and goes to my machine. Yeah, so she just was probably trying to move the covers to see what all's involved with this. It could have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, I, I loved it. I mean, it was just, it was so super exciting for me. <laughs> it was pretty cool. That is, that definitely made me a believer. I mean, I, I was always kind of, you know, because I'm just getting into this stuff too, and when that stuff happened, it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and another thing, too, really does. Yeah, when you do have an experience like that, it changes your mind about things. And those people who don't believe are going to say, oh, you know, you just imagined it or, you know, that sort of thing. Wait till you have an experience. Right, right. 
because I, I was kind of a doubter. I mean, I never doubted Shannon because I totally trust Shannon, and I know that she is completely honest. I've never doubted that. But until you actually have it happen to yourself, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow. <laughs> now we could like, just, wow. <laughs> if we could just get something to happen to Katie. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, it was just she and I who spent the night in room 11 that first night, but, um, we had three other people joining us the next day, which was Halloween and we dressed up and all that. And that was our main investigation of the hotel. Um, we were the only ones there. They unlocked the haunted, the haunted rooms, and they also unlocked the basement. So we had free run of the hotel. And what we did first is we gathered in the second floor hallway, there's a table where the staircase comes up. And we were actually having no luck. I told the history, mentioned tons of names that, that might get activity going. And then we did an EVP session, captured nothing. Then we did a spirit box session, captured nothing. Then we did dousing rods. And it's my experience that children love the dousing rods. And a child like Abigail, that obviously likes to touch and move things, <laughs> loves the dousing rods. And when I, this is my second trip to the Ruble. And when I had been there before, my friend Kathy was with me and we had a lot of luck with the dousing rods. So that's what I'm gonna show you next. Okay. Is our dousing rod session because I think it was really good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Could you stop please so we can ask you questions? Thank you. Is your name Michael? Cross the rods in the center if your name's Michael. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uncross the rods if you're Michael Jr. Oh, Senior. Hmm. Are you Michael Senior? Uncross them. Do you guys tell much you want him to do to answer? Yep, it's Michael Senior. Oh. Most definitely. Can you stop, please? You can compose. Are you decomposing somewhere? <laughs> Let it go straight with it. Did you build this hotel? Cross the rods in the center if you built this hotel. I think wow. we are talking to Michael wow. Sr. Yep. Wow. Could you stop, please? Sat. Oh. Aw. Sat. Sat. Oh, I think it's a sand. Are you oh, sitting, sitting down with us? Don't. Cross the rods if you are sitting with us at this table. Oh, wow. I'm probably, are you in that empty chair maybe? Cool, thank you for sitting with us. Is Margaret here with you? I think that's what this wife's name. Cross the rods if your wife is here. I don't want to say uh, no. Oh, no. Maybe not. Are any of your children here? Can you cross the rods if any of your children are here with you? No. Oh. Is Abigail here with you? Cross the rods. Nod. 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 It's a yes, I guess they crossed. I, so cross I get, backwards. I guess yeah, they're, they're crossing backwards. Uncross the rods if you're Abigail. Ooh, what, uh, do we finally have Abigail? If you're here, Abigail, spin this rod. There you go. It's Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> wow. Office. Thanks, hey. Abigail. Can you stop, please? Look at her. Can you stop? It was probably fun, I know. We'll let you do it again. Is your last name Pruitt? Cross the rods if your last name's Pruitt. Oh, maybe. Oh. Sorry, Abigail. Dang, stop that. That's crazy. Uncross the rods if you are Abigail Pruitt. Enter. No, they're crossing. I'm not, I'm not, cl I'm not clear. No, I'm not cross. Well, I'm not clear on that response. Yeah, they're back and forth. 
Uncross the rods if your name is Abigail Pruitt. Uncross the rods if your name is Abigail Palmer. Uncross the rods if your name is Abigail. Yeah. It's Abigail. Yeah. It's just not it's one of those it's not two. One of those. I was trying to find out who you were, Abigail. I'm sorry. I don't I think wish you could tell us your last name. Wait. <coughs> um, can we ask if she has uh, blonde hair? Yeah, whatever you want. That's supposed to be a picture. It looks like mine or not. But I don't know where they came up with the picture from, so ask away. Okay. Um, Abigail, can you turn uh, the rods all the way around if you have blonde hair? If you have blonde hair, it looks red to me. Can you turn the, the all the rods? Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> can you turn the rods around if you have red hair? Can you turn the rod around if you have brown hair? Make them spin if you have red hair. Yeah, maybe she didn't understand what yeah. she didn't understand what turned the rods around. Yeah. So yeah, she's she a red hair. Yep, she didn't understand. Spin the rods if you were left behind when you got sick. Whoa. I guess she was. Can you stop, sick. please? Did Whoa. you? Did you die at the pest house? Spin the rods if you died at the pest house. That would make total sense then if she was quarantined over there and died. Can you stop please? Ooh. She's playing now. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Trouble. Uh -oh. <laughs> Can you stop please? Yeah, I'm trouble stopping. No, I'm totally. Spin the rods if you had cholera. So maybe that story is true. So I had somebody in my room this morning that was pulling the sheets off of me. Abigail, if that was you, will you cross these rods? Were you being a trickster this morning? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I get a question. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Loving it, loving it. Abigail, yeah, yeah. when I was, can you stop the rods, please? Last night, can you stop the rods, please? <laughs> I know they work really well here. Um, Levitation. When, <laughs> when I was falling asleep last night, was that you talking? Because I thought I heard a child's voice real soft. Were you speaking? I guess so. I hope I picked that up on recorder too. Are you nine years old, Abigail? Uh, cross the rods if you are. They spin. She's not nine. She's older. Hey, uh, Abigail, can can you cross the rods if you are eleven years old? Well, how about this? Abigail, is that a picture on the wall over there? Is Does that look like you? Spin the rods if that looks like you. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that we were told yeah. that was a painting of Abigail. She looks to be about 16, right? Yeah, that doesn't look like... No, nine-year-old. Did... I'll Abigail. see if she was like a teenager. Abigail, are you a teenager? Spin the rods if so. So she's probably 12. Yes, Abigail, are you 12? Spin the rods around. Are you 12 years old? Yeah. Give me a clear yeah. question. Yeah. Gotta remember Were she... you 12 years old when you passed away? Spin the rods. Yeah. It looks like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, in that picture, she could be 12. Totally, she totally I can see that. 100%. That's safe. Abigail, do you like spinning the rods? Spin the rods if you enjoy spinning the rods. <laughs> <laughs> she sure does. Well, thank you. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that was good, wasn't it? That was really good. <laughs> oh, I did want to clarify because I didn't go over it in that history. 
when I searched the cemetery records looking for a young girl named Abigail who died in that area in the time frame where they they think that she died that's where I found the Abigail um, Pruitt and Abigail Palmer they were the only two and it's interesting that she kind of moved the rods when I said the Abigail Pruitt and also Abigail Pruitt was 12 years old when she passed away so that's pretty interesting mm -hmm. too sometimes I think they don't remember their names because um, she probably remembers Abigail because everybody calls her the restaurants named after her and they talk to her as Abigail but she may not be sure of her last name so I thought that was interesting but now Ab both those Abigails did die before the hotel was built but another interesting fact across the street just down a little ways is where the pest house was and that's where they quarantined all their sick people and lots of people died there that area is so haunted and it's I think it's really possible since it is so close to the ruble that some of those spirits oh, yeah you know came back to the ruble but I don't think we solved the mystery no. we still don't know who Abigail <laughs> is although I think it's a possibility she died at the pest house of cholera was 12 years old and her last name was which one was it Pruitt yeah and her last name was Pruitt I think it's a possibility I don't think it got ruled out right I don't think so so after we did the dowsing rods which worked there this is the second time I've been here and that's the best evidence I got the first time too um, everybody wanted to go into the basement now we didn't get a whole lot in the basement but we got a couple of things and in this video Misty is the star I was here before. Do you remember me? You didn't want me to lock the basement door. Told you I'd come back. My name is Shannon. How are you? Yeah, there used to be apartments down here and they got flooded. Really? Yeah, but over here is, I think, where they used to... Yeah, come with me because you got light. I forgot my flashlight. This is where they um, had like a carriage repair shop. Is there anybody in here working on a carriage? If you want to talk to us, you can talk on this camera. I may not be able to hear you now, but I'll hear you later. See guys, over here, oh, you're over here. Over here is where they repaired carriages. This used to be like a carriage repair shop. But see this staircase? I don't know where that goes. I guess it goes into the first floor of the hotel. Oh. I don't know where the staircase goes. Is there anybody up there? I don't, I don't know if I tray it, but this is a little rounded. You're here. If you touch that orange machine, blue lights will light up and we can ask you yes or no questions. Did you work here in the carriage shop? Run. What? Run? <laughs> that, that may not mean run. One of the claims here is you hear somebody running in the basement. Oh, Are you the, the person they hear running in the basement? If so, touch that orange machine. Maybe not. Yeah, we're interested in the paranormal. That's what we're here for. Are you paranormal?
We want to know your story. So when you came down the steps, there was a hallway. Ah, I'm stepping on things. And, it, and when you came in the hallway, there was like rooms on each side, and then this back area was the ballroom. Really? Yeah, that's the way I, I was described to me in the article I read. And back this way was like the kitchen, and that's where that ice room's supposed to be. Oh, that's funny because that's where they are. Yeah. yeah, she don't want to be in it. So, that red that is. Too. Yeah, so like in this area would be the kitchen, and this way would be where that ice room was. Do you have a flashlight? Yes, me. Flash this. So, I wonder if it's still about in here. Look at the forest. Like a concrete or a bitch comb. Bricks. Is this where they store ice? Yeah, there's supposed to be like. An ice room. Point the flashlight over there. Okay. That goes like under the street part. And this was like all the kitchen area. Yeah. Are you cooking something? Is this your kitchen? Was this the ballroom? Did you dance here? We're seeing some figures. Okay. And then I seen one walking. You I, seen something walking? Did yeah. you take a picture? I've tried to. Where you got that stand at? Where you got the stand? It's not it's gone now. Bing. Oh. I think that thing it bearing it let's see. Is there anybody over there? There it is. Oh, it yeah. just went away. It was right there. Are you standing in front of Misty's camera? There it is again, it's back. Can you show yourself in front of this camera? There it is, see? Can you, can you oh. Watch it? You see that? Watch it. Watch over here. The take oh, pictures. Going. Are you taking I, I, In the middle? Is that where it goes? In the middle one? It's this button over here. Oh, on the side, remember? Okay. That's a picture. Oh, okay. And if you want to keep it. How do I say no? Um, or yes? It looks kind of cool. Now everything's red. Whoa. That's kind of weird. What's the temperature? Oh, yeah, it's red, but it's like showing a normal temperature, isn't it? 68 or it something. It wasn't right a minute ago. Yeah, it was all blue. Yeah. It's just that it happens to be what you eat, what you're changed in on. Yeah, I think we're going to come up, too. Me, too. Right. I'm going. Take another break and then go hit all the rooms. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go upstairs. And check out the rooms. Since you're not going to talk to us, we're out of here. All right, well, thank you for talking to us. I really appreciate it. I got to lock the door now. See ya. Like I did last time. I know you didn't like that. But Mo says it's got to be locked. <laughs> so we got a couple things like on the perilous. Mm -hmm. Now the interesting thing about Misty. She always claims she hears things and sees things that everybody else doesn't see or hear. So, you know, we laugh at her because she's always the most afraid. But usually when I review the evidence, there's something there. There is a noise we didn't hear that she heard. Mm -hmm. Or there is a flash or a mist that she saw that we didn't see. Here though, I don't know. Maybe the timing of the pictures just wasn't good. Right. But if she says she saw something walking, I think maybe she did. She, I, you know, I, I think she does. I think she...
I think she has like a sense about her where the spirits just like to interact with her. Maybe because she is so afraid. This next part, um, Misty and Canyon, they started out with us, but it was getting really late. What was it like? It was probably around 3 a.m. I mean, I think we were done about 4 a.m. But this is my favorite part of our investigation. They unlocked the rooms where there have been haunted claims. So we went into each of those rooms to see if we could capture anything. Now, there were a few rooms we went in, we didn't get anything, so they've been edited out. However, there were rooms we did get something. And room 14 just has me so perplexed even now. And this, this clip is sort of lengthy because of room 14. So if you watch it and you can explain room 14 to me, <laughs> please do. Because <laughs> that's where I want to stay the next time we go. I want to stay in room 14. <laughs> you ready to see it? I am. Is there anybody in here? Can you tell us your name? You that? You heard something? I feel it. Oh, what do you feel? Cold. Yeah, it is cool in here. But you gotta know this room, it, it like extends out the front and see how there's no, on each side there's no insulation and there's all these windows. Yeah, I feel it from the ground. Oh, wait, feels from the ground. You? Who's in here? Can you, my name's Shannon. Yeah, it is. I do. I'm getting a chill too. I have to say that. All you gotta do is touch it, just like this. Clap. Clap. <laughs> oh, laugh. laugh. It's yeah. laughing at you. Yeah. He's probably trying to get it going. Are you laughing at Michelle? Whoa. What? Oh, that light thing's going off. Well, he turned it on, though. Did it go oh, off with that? Oh, it's going off? Yeah. Oh, look. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. That's cool. Is that pretty? Okay, I'm going to be real honest with you. I touched that one. Oh, <laughs> you did. I told you not to I, do that. I touched crap. that one, but that one just went off by itself. Oh, you didn't touch this one. You nope. touched the other one. Are you in this hallway, Abigail? Do you run up and down these that steps? That was not there earlier. That what? That quarter was not there earlier. Yeah, I would have noticed it. Noon. I did have Okay, well, we're going to walk to a room. If you want to follow us, you can. <laughs> quarter. What a quarter. I'm going to your feet. Quarter. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> did you leave me a quarter? <laughs> it wasn't there earlier when we were here, remember? Ooh, which room is this? I can't see. I don't see the number. Ooh, 12. This is one of my hurt. That's really high. Is there anybody in here? Do you want to talk to us? I brought this orange machine. If you want to come near it and touch it, we can ask you yes or no questions. We also have these lights, these balls. Ooh, I don't like this room. I don't know. It's like hard to breathe in here or something. Really? Do you get that kind of feeling? Is there anybody in here? What happened in here? It's like there's no air in here. I was always told this was one of the very haunted rooms. We'd love to see you. And I'm actually having trouble breathing in this room. Are you making it hard for me to breathe? Or was it hard for you to breathe?
Can you show yourself? Or talk to us? Why is this room haunted? Why do people say things happen in here? Did you die in here? Were you sick in here? <clears throat> Did you have tuberculosis? It made it hard to breathe. Diphtheria? Okay, which room is this? 14. I don't know anything about 14. Hello? Can we come in your room? Is there anybody in here? You a couch. Larissa left the door open. Oh, here we go. Because she says there's activity in here. Look what's on. Oh, finally. You want to talk to us? Why is my, my screen's all blurry? <laughs> Why is my screen all blurry? Because <laughs> there's something in here, don't they say that? Yeah. Your screens go blurry. Amazing, you're the first person yeah. to talk hey. to us. And you're making my screen blurry so I can't see it. Can you make two of those lights go off? Oh, now it cleared up. Can you make more lights? Oh, the two of them are off now. Or is it just one still? I think it's just one. Here, I'll sit down today. I just got so excited. Because none of the other spirits would touch my machine. Oh, it is. It's higher now. It's like I walked away. Now it's like going up at least to two. What? Oh, no, it's blurry back here. Something just beeped. What well, just beeped? Oh, the machine beeps oh. when they make it go off. Oh, okay. But it's making my screen all blurry. Are you standing in front of my camera? <laughs> Light up more of those lights if you're standing. Are you getting it? Because look at it. Look how blurry it is. Oh, my God, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my stuff's dark. I See, all I'm getting is oh, just okay. At least you're getting it going yeah. off. Can you light up all of those lights? Can you light up one of them bowls? Yeah, I do not know why it's so freaking blurry. That's never That's happened. That's what they say. It's never happened before. Well, there must be a spirit in here. And we're it's focusing over here. Well, then they're not turn it over. Turn it towards. See where it quits. Now it's not blurry. No, it's blurry. Look, it's, it just went all blurry again. There's something there. That's Are you standing there? Apparently. Well, thank you. I wish I could see you. Did you live here? Light up more of those blue lights if you lived here. Did you die here? Maybe it's EMF. Maybe there's some EMF over there. I don't know why the screen's blurry. You see it's clear here? No. Well, I don't know. That is weird. If I put it here. Can you tell us your name? If that's you, move away from the, the orange machine so the lights go out. So I know it's just not EMF in here. That was me. 
Now it's all blurry again. That's weird. Huh. It might just be in the end because it's not twinkling anymore. Oh! I don't know if I did that or not. <laughs> I went to reach for my machine and the ball rolled and went off. I don't know if I did that because I moved toward it. Here. Oh, as soon as I move it, the blue light went off. Can you move that ball again? Oh. <coughs> it's this spot on the bed. Ball? It's just that spot on the bed. That is weird. I've never seen, I've never seen a bed have EMF. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone sitting there? Are you sitting on the bed? Like, and if I move it forward, I would stay on that time. Can you make two of those lights go off? Or make one of those balls go off again? Oh, wow. I think I just saw something in the corner of my eye. Really? Yeah, like right here. Like it was wolf stepping up toward me. Who's in here? Talking to my camera. I may not be able to hear you now. But I'll be able to hear you later. I don't know. This is just so weird. Look, it goes, as soon as I take it off the bed, it goes off. Something's laying on the bed. Maybe. Are you sleeping? Are you not feeling well? It's not off there. Huh. Are you not feeling well? Are you laying down? It's twinkling. Well, my name's Shannon. It's nice to meet you. My name's Michelle. It's nice to meet you. That is so bizarre. Because, I mean, there's no electrical outlets or nothing on this bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is weird. Is that you? Light up all four. I think it's five. <laughs> it's late. Light up the whole row of lights if that's you. Can you do that? That is just bizarre. Can I see you in the mirror? I don't understand. Bed can you have EMF? <laughs> Is it a heated blanket or something plugged in there? Well, it's not going off there. Might be a spirit laying there. That is just too weird. Are you laying on this bed? Is it comfortable? Do you know why I couldn't breathe right in number 12? Oh, that's no, not doing it. Well, if you did do that machine, I can't get fit through here. Something's here. Oh, it's a table. Can you do it again? Why is that one spot a blue spot? <laughs> that's just, that's just spirit. Let's see, is it going all together? Nope, there it goes again. I turned your ball on though. Yeah, I just, this is just where. I don't know why that spot. Does it feel warmer? No, it's cold. She's got my thermal camera. Unless she left it on the table. I didn't see that one. 
I'm gonna go get it if it's it might be off the table. It's the window. EMF detector. I think those are your balls. Which look like they're moving on my camera. On the thermal. Or maybe it's because I'm moving the camera because they go back into place. I don't know. I'm gonna take one more picture, smile. Hmm. All right, we gotta move on to the next room. We're running out of time. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. What'd you get? The, um, the little... The orange button flickered a little bit. Oh, that's movement. I know. That's why. And I'm, I'm all blurred up stop, again. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm all blurred up again to the camera. It just flickered just a tiny bit. The orange one? Yeah. Oh, I think the refrigerator went off. Can you knock on something? Can you stop blurring my camera? <laughs> <laughs> If I put it over here, we're good. If I put it over here, we're a big blur spot. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. Oh, it's not working. Oh, it's not working. 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 It's Oh, okay. Look, my camera's all blurred again. It just flickered. I know. <laughs> but I can't get it on camera because... Okay. How come your camera's not blurry? I don't know. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Good night. See you tomorrow. Not blurry. I know, I don't know. You're coming into focus. <laughs> it is so weird. It's, weird. it's just blurs Every time up. you get ready to, to do something, something happens to get up. Well, I hope you're talking to me so make, since you won't let me record you. You, all you do is blur my camera. <laughs> but you're not blurring her camera. There it goes again. That's crazy. It just blurs. Weird. Well, I guess we're going to move on to the next room. Run it. Oh, they flashed. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you flash it again if you want us to stay. It's flashing. I know. I can't get in my camera, you know, it's blurry the flashy. It, it, like something flashed. You're going to have to give me your film. <laughs> I, don't I don't know why you're not blurring. I'm blurring. I don't know. Maybe I it's just a different so kind of camera. I have it on IR. But my IR lights are working. But the thing is, like, I put it over here. It's fine. 
And then when I initially first put it on there, it's not blurry. It's just when I hold it on there, it just turns to a big blur. Can you just make one of those? Whoa. We're making all kinds of things go. Yeah. Can you make one of those balls go off? Light up? A lot of EMF. <laughs> <laughs> Flash the light if you are female. Oh, I guess you are. Are you maybe Margaret? Flash the light if you're Margaret. I'm just going to have to do this blurry. <laughs> flash the light if you're Abigail. Can you make it flash if you're Abigail? This looks like a big white blob on my thing. Mm. Did you die in this room? Flash that light if you did. Did you work here? Can you make the light flash if you worked here? Can you make the light flash if you lived here? Did you live here at the Ruble? Make the light flash if you died across the street at the pest house. Did you drown in the river? Can you make the lights flash if you drown in the river? I guess they're done talking to us. Do we, should we move on to the next room? Flash that light if you want us to stay in here with you. I believe this is room 14 too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Here, clear, clear video. Yeah. I don't think I mentioned room 14. Clear video, freaky blurry video. It, <laughs> there it goes. Clear video. Freaky blurry video on its way. That is so weird. I've never had that happen. Is that you causing my camera to blur like that? If you're blurring, making my camera blur. Flash those lights again. Okay, what's That's that? The refrigerator. Well, it didn't sound oh, like that last time, did it? That sounds like a toilet flushing. Yeah. Are you in the bathroom? Did you flush the toilet? Well, not the toilet flushing, you know. I think it was like water. Was yeah, like when it fills or something. something. Yeah. All right. Well, we have to get moving because I got to go to bed soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm really, really tired. And we have a couple more rooms to investigate. Yeah, several. But thank you for lighting that up. We That's really awesome. appreciate that. I wish you weren't making my camera, Barry. <laughs> clear, clear camera. Blurry camera. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Okay, we're moving on. We really appreciate you talking to us. My it might get too heavy. Hey, it's not blurry. <laughs> you imagine that. If you're here, can you touch that orange machine? Make it light up blue. This is room nine. And it connects 
to room 10. It's cold in this room. This room's supposed to be a haunted room right now. Feel the difference. Come in here. Does it feel a lot colder in here? This is a cold ass room. Yeah. Wow. At least it's I'm getting bad. chills. This bed is even cold. It's this cold in here. Oh wow. Is there someone in here? I heard this room was haunted. Who's in here? How come their strings are reachable? <laughs> Ours aren't. Is the ceiling just higher in our room? Okay. Yeah, it's so cold. I think it's the coldest room we've been in. Isn't it? It's mm -hmm. just really cold. Why is it so cold in here? I mean, I totally get chills, like, like, I got goosebumps, and, like, my hair's standing up on my arms, the kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I never get cold. I see, I don't feel that. I mean, it's a little cool in here, but not... I feel really cold. So, you got something. There's something. Are you standing next to me, maybe? You can talk into this camera, or in that camera. Or if you really want to communicate, you can touch that orange machine or one of those balls. Who's in here? Can you tell us your name? And we thank you all, Rebel Spirits. We wish you peace. Good night. Good night. There may be an explanation for room 14. I just don't know what it is. But it, it has me so curious to know what was going on. And, and I really want to go back there. And I really want to stay in room 14. What do you think about the rooms? I thought they were very interesting, especially that room fourteen. Yeah, because you know, like you said, it was the camera was non folk or you know non what I, blurry, not blurry, and then blurry and not yeah. blurry. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, and I took that same shot in all the other rooms, and it never blurred up like that. I don't. It, it was really odd. And it was odd getting that EMF on the bed. Right. And I touched that bed, you know. I moved the EMF detector around. I can't figure out why it was registering EMF. Now, I know, like, if you put it near an electrical cord or if you put it through to uh, a socket or something like that where you know there's electrical wires. But what electrical wires would be on top of a bed? I, I have no idea. And only mm -hmm. in that one spot. Yeah, because you did move it around. Right, so like if there was some kind of blanket plugged in or something, why wouldn't that EMF go off right. on other areas of the bed? And right. then it would do some flashies. Yeah. You know, and we did hear the beep a few times, which meant that it was a big spike. So I, if it's an EMF source, it's usually pretty steady. It doesn't spike like that unless you're moving the detector around and I wasn't when it spiked so I'm just gonna say the ruble is weird <laughs> definitely yeah. I mean, that's my best um, summation of the ruble hotel is it's very weird all right, I have one more clip left. Okay. I hope you enjoy this one. It's our final clip. All right.
dripping. smoking a cigarette so I, I yeah I, I'm asleep so I don't ever know right exactly. I mean, every once in a while if I roll over I'll hear it but nothing ever like that so I don't I don't know yeah it might have been mm -hmm. Abigail being think, very curious I think she was very curious <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for watching is there anything you want to add uh, go to the Rubel Hotel and experience it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, some people say it's the most haunted hotel in the state of Illinois, and I can see why. I mean, I think we had enough weirdness happen that it, it's enough to at least get you interested. Right, and definitely check into either room 11 or 14. Yeah, I think they, yeah, absolutely. Those are the two haunted rooms. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye. Bye.